Welcome to Jurisdiction Academy YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about recruitment to PSUs through the CLAT PG examination. In this video, we are going to talk about how can one get into a PSU through the CLAT PG examination. Of course, this is only focused on entry to PSUs for legal officers. So let's start this video and discuss some common questions and queries with respect to the whole process. In this video, we'll be answering the following six questions. We'll be talking about vacancies in PSUs. Then we'll be talking about how to apply to these PSUs. Thirdly, we'll be talking about which PSUs are likely to come in a given year. Then we'll talk about what is the safe rank for getting into a PSU. Then we'll talk about how to prepare for this exam. And lastly, we'll talk about the procedure for selection into a PSU. So let's start this video. The first and the most common query is how many vacancies will come in a PSU? Again, this is something which depends on a lot of factors. There are no fixed vacancies that will definitely or surely come in a given year. So usually, there are around 5 to 10 vacancies which are advertised for any given PSU. However, of course, the number may vary. It may increase or decrease depending on the need of any given PSU. So this is something which neither can be predicted nor should be thought upon in great detail because how many vacancies will come will totally depend on that year and you can never predict such kind of a thing. Next is how to apply to a PSU. So applying to a PSU can be of two kinds. One is the PSU uh, that has its own independent exam. Second is the one that we are talking about that is PSUs who hire through the CLAT PG examination. So since of course this PS, these kind of PSUs are going to hire through the scorecard of CLAT PG, you will obviously have to apply for the CLAT PG examination. So that will be your first step. The second step will be that whenever the PSU advertises their vacancies, you will also have to separately apply to that PSU using your details of the CLAT PG registration. So this is the two-step process. Some candidates mistake in it and they believe that since they have already applied for the CLAT PG examination, they are automatically eligible for sitting in a PSU interview. That is not the case. You will have to separately apply to the PSU using your registration details of the CLAT PG examination. Next is which PSUs will come in a given year. There is no established pattern of which PSUs will come in any given year. So there can be again no clarity on this aspect as well. So if you're somebody who is considering whether you should appear for the CLAT PG exam or not in a given year, you will never know what all PSUs might advertise because some PSUs will advertise while the registration for CLAT PG is open. However, some PSUs may advertise after the closure of registration or even five to six months after the declaration of CLAT PG results. So you can never be sure as to what PSU will recruit through the scorecard of any given your CLAT PG examination. So it's always safe to write the exam first and then wait for the vacancies because that may very well happen. Next is, what is a safe rank for getting into a PSU? Now this question of course depends on the previous two things that we have discussed as to how many vacancies are there and how many PSUs are advertising in any given year. So firstly, it will of course depend on the number of vacancies. If the vacancies are more, you will have a good chance to get into a PSU even at a later rank. However, if the vacancies are less, of course the competition will be more. But Generally, under AIR under 15 to 20 is considered a safe bet for getting into a PSU. But again, this will totally depend on a lot of factors. Next is how to prepare for actually getting through a PSU. So since you will be writing the same exam, whether you are appearing for CLAT LLM or whether you are appearing for a PSU, whatever your intention is of appearing in the CLAT PG examination, is irrelevant because the exam is the same exam that you will write. So, however, you need to focus on getting a very good rank to be very safe if a PSU comes. So, of course, you'll be requiring more focus. You'll be requiring constant revision and clarity of basic concepts. And good command over recent developments will not only help you in flat PG examination, but it will also help you with your interview for the PSU. 
Lastly, what is the procedure for selection? Now, procedure for selection depends on the recruitment conditions of a particular PSU. So there can be no one pattern, but generally the CLAD PG scorecard is used for shortlisting and based on that, either there's a GD or a PI or GD and PI both for final selection. They will generally shortlist five times the number of vacancies that they have advertised for the GDPI stage. However, there are some PSUs which may solely hire based on your CLAT PG scorecard. In whatever situation, be it the first case or the second case, you do need a solid score in the CLAT PG examination because ultimately that will be the deciding factor of whether you get in or not. So these are some of the important questions that we have tried to answer with respect to PSU hiring. If you have any particular questions that you'd like us to answer, you may drop them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.